All right, so what if Warframe was darker and much more like, I don't know, like tonally more scary, even if not scary, but just kind of had more of like a dark, slower kind of scary vibe, right? So again, I've been working a little bit more on the Warframe 1999, 1999 thing since I liked it so much. And I want to show you guys a little bit more of it because I think it's a, it's a cool concept to kind of experiment outside of what the game is doing. Um, few updates. I did work on the texture rendering a little bit more so you can see moving around on his body, even though <laughs> obviously the textures don't match up with how Excalibur actually looks because that, that would take a lot of work. But I do have the way the textures perform with lighting improved a little bit more. So you can see how to spin the camera around. On, the, on his back, the lighting is reacting appropriately. I can use a few more dial-ins, but it's a lot closer to what author actually looks like in, War, like in Warframe 1999. Um, moving a little bit forward, we got some enemies patrolling here. See, they got glowing eyes. They got little flashlights. So like I said, we're going with a much darker vibe. We're going to back up so they don't see us. And um, you'll see once I kill these enemies, the little lights and the flashlights go out because they know. They know they have died. <laughs> All right, so let's actually let's let's go out here and shoot a few of these guys. Hey, buddy, what's up, AI? So shoot and kill that guy. Um, now I wanted it more tactical. We'll, we'll see the light go out. See, pretty cool, right? I wanted to feel more tactical, so headshots instantly kill enemies because I thought that would be something cool for a game. Double double jump there. Sorry, my aim's gonna be a little bit bad. Whoa, okay, this guy's this guy's tearing me up. My aim's a little bit bad because my computer's lagging a little bit here. Um, but yeah, we got got a little bit of double jump and flipping and movement here. Flip, 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 the flashlight moves. You can shoot after you roll and during a jump. Now you guys remember the little TV head, guys. Well, you know, we're working on it. <laughs> um I decided to change it from being a humanoid model to this little guy, but he still has the little TV monitor head. Again, I wanted that kind of dark car feel to it. You know, where it's got that kind of look like, you know, this guy's coming at you in the darkness, right? All right, so let's move on. Let's uh go through here. And again, you know, a little bit darker, got the flashlight. And we got some enemies spawning. Now this is basically survival without the the oxygen, I guess. The enemies will just keep spawning until until I die. Camera's still wonky. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm still working on balancing some of the weapons to fill somewhere between where Warframe feels. Headshot, nice. And how like like maybe Dark Souls, not Dark Souls, uh, Dark Sector. I wanted to kind of feel like somewhere between Warframe and Dark Sector, probably closer to Dark Sector. Lucky headshot. Um, this is not balanced at all because I still got to work on balancing the stuff, but it's got a good vibe. This is definitely what I was going for as far as lighting and enemies and feel. We can kind of double jump our way out of that. Whoa, we got to kill this guy. They are stacking up on us. I'm probably gonna die here. Let's, no, we die. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not even close to balance, but eventually once I get the balance down, it'll be kind of fun to play. You know, it'll get to that point. Uh, let's grab the AR. Let's grab the, well, we don't need the pistol, but this is a two and a pistol. It, uh, I haven't worked on the two and a pistol at all. I've been working on the balance of the rifles. What's up, buddy? Let's see if we can kill him with a pistol. Oh, guy. He threw up oh, the grenade. Got me. I <laughs> can't freaking splat it across the map. All right. Pistol is just... I, I haven't worked on a pistol yet, but the AR uh, is getting closer to being balanced. Shoot them. The eyes go out. Let me get a headshot on this guy. There. That was a headshot. And, of course, the lights go out. Pretty cool. Um, I grabbed these models. I don't know if you guys remember Paragon. 
that kind of like third person MOBA. Uh, this guy was a Paragon character. I just kind of removed his texture so he would look cool in the dark. And the monster is, uh, there was a character called Grin, Grim. That was pretty cool in Paragon, so that's actually Grim. We turn him into the monster. I like Paragon, so it's kind of cool seeing these characters again. And of course, with the main character with author, aka original Excalibur, you know, we just added hair and materials to a, a default character. This isn't actually an Excalibur model. That's why it's going to take a little bit more work to get the materials on there. But it's really just feel more than anything. Um, I will get the AI on the monster working eventually. But right now, you know, we're just we're just shooting standard SWAT guys. And of course, we got the jump and the roll. Roll. Now, after I die this time, I can turn the pulse process up, which a lot of people aren't going to like too much. But it, it kind of shows what you can do with the Unreal Engine. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm sorry. Because the more I work in... Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> and when you die, you ragdoll like crazy. But... The more I work with Unreal Engine, um, you can kind of go over the top with the, uh, let's see, let's take post-processing up to Epic. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's take everything up to Epic. It's going to be hard to play because the frame rate's not going to be great, but you get a better sense of what you can, how you can make Warframe look with, because this is Unreal 5.3. This is the latest version of Unreal. You can see it's a lot harder to shoot because I, I haven't really finished optimizing this. So we definitely got a frame rate dip here. But it's still, it's cool to look at. I'll show you the monster in a second. Uh, I'm still working on melee. It does not work enough to even show it to you guys. So I won't. <laughs> But when you look at this guy, see the post-processing. That's some cool little lens flares and stuff. It looks cool. Like that coming at you in the darkness would be kind of spooky, you know, with the right atmosphere. And um, you can see the materials and stuff on the character and the lighting on his hair and stuff. So Unreal is uh, pretty visually powerful if you can optimize it. So. This would be pretty cool if it was an actual game. Um, let's see. Let's yeah. Even right here, when you walk into here, you know, we got some cool little lens flares a, a little over the top. <laughs> I missed that light up. Ignore that a little over the top, but you can kind of tell what's possible with some artistic direction and a little bit of uh, a little bit of optimization love. Even the hair, the hair looks amazing. Let's spawn some more enemies. This is going to be a mess because my frame rate's not going to be great. But you guys can see the potential of, um, I guess what you could do with like a, just a quick fan game. I've probably put, whoa, buddy, get that grenade away from me. I probably put maybe 15 hours into this. You know, everything from basic functionality to optimization to lighting working on some of the spawning logic so the spawning logic is really terrible because i know exactly where they're going to spawn <laughs> and i would imagine whoa you're dead I would, I would imagine a game like warframe where you're having to spawn enemies out of sight you're having to kind of calculate how often they spawn not putting too many enemies on screen i, I haven't done any of that it's basically got some location logic uh, when to spawn them and it scales up over time, but it is as far from balance as it could be. Get a little fancy with this guy. Would that grenade hit me? Yeah, that frame rate's a little scary. Not quite there. Let's kill a few more guys and we'll, uh, we'll call it quits here. Um, now, will I keep working on this? I don't. It depends on if you guys want to see it go further, because it definitely can go further. This is just scratching the surface 
Um, like I said, the melee guy is not working. The the spawning, the guns are as far from balanced as you can be. And I want to make an intro, kind of like the Warframe 1999 intro, where it plays the rock music. I don't know if we can do Nine Inch Nails on YouTube or not. I'd have to ask, ask around if anyone got copyright strike for it. Oh, see that guy just spawned. <laughs> that guy just spawned right in front of me. It's freaking hilarious. Um, I only have three spawn spots and they are, they're called directly for, for the XYZ position. I'll just grab the AK this time. Oh, and the camera. I haven't fixed the camera yet. So there's tons of stuff I can still do. It just depends. If you guys still want to see this, maybe I'll... Okay, you're just going to throw that grenade at me. Oh, frame rate dropping. Also, I don't destroy the enemies when they die, so it just, it murders my frame rate. Hey, buddy. Pink. I thought that was a cool feature. Um, I am destroying the magazines. It's on the reload. The magazines do get destroyed. But that's what we have so far. Dark, gritty, potentially very moody. Like, even if it's not the best game in the world, it definitely has uh, the atmosphere. The atmosphere is kind of what we were going for. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. If we make some more, it, it's just depending. Um, if I do make more, like I said, melee, melee is just, it, it's not ready to show. I was going to just take the sword off of his waist, put it into his hand and let him take some swings and deal damage. But it's a lot more work than it seems like. <laughs> and uh, of course the camera, the camera is bad. As you can see, I haven't put any collision on the camera yet. A lot of work into the rendering. Oh, look at his neck sticking out of the, wow. We got to work on that. But the rendering is nice, even though it, it is, it is tearing my, um, tearing my performance up. Let's start the spawn event. Come on. He's going to spawn right here. Where are you little buddy? We're just ding him right in the head. At least we'll, we'll try it. Frame rates bad. Come here. Come here. There we go. <laughs> We could take his gun. We won't keep the AK. AK's recoil is higher than the other rifle. So with a few damage tweaks, this this could be fun for a little survival event, like if I stream it on Twitch or something. That does no damage, but pretty cool. I don't know. You guys let me think. Let me know if you want to see me. It's gonna completely depend on you guys. Plus, since we have to wait a whole year for Warframe 1999, which again, I am excited for, you know, maybe, maybe we'll keep going with it. We'll see. To be honest with you, some of this performance is my PC is just bad. Let's go up here. Let's get out of the way of these enemies. Get something to drink. Grab a little snack. Okay, we're good. Some of this is my PC is just not that great. I have a 1080 Ti, so we're talking about five years. See, I don't limit the spawn of these guys, so they're just going to keep spawning until my, my PC turns into a jet engine and destroys itself. And they'll just keep on spawning. Let's see if I can headshot this guy with this terrible frame rate. Ah, I think. But that's the game. You guys let me know what you think as far as uh, if we should keep going. But really, I'm really curious what you guys think of Warframe in the context of, because the game is super like colorful and fast, but something slower and darker. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think the potential of it? Not this specifically, but the potential of what they may do with Warframe 1999 or uh, what could be done with the game's universe outside of what's happening right now. And plus, I can add some more movement. Well, oh, okay. That'll do it. All right. Um, you guys let me know what you think. I. Oh, <laughs> it did survive. You guys let me know what you think if you want to keep going or not. All right. Um, talk to you guys later.